Hi, this is Paul with PicoPros.com and what I wanted to show you today was an application for extended desktop using a Pico projector. And I thought this is a really good application for small projectors, so I really wanted to highlight it on the site. Uh, I don't think uh, many readers, and, and myself included for a while, don't really appreciate what the, the flexibility or the utility of a Pico projector is in a normal office environment. So I really just wanted to highlight that here today. So what I've set up here is actually a projector connected to my laptop. So you can see my laptop in the foreground and in the background the projected image. The projected image is coming from the Acer Technologies K11 projector with DLP technology and we did a couple of reviews of this. We did an, uh, an unboxing and we did a full review. The only reason I'm using that particular one for this is the fact that one I have it still in hand before I have to send it back but also because this guy's putting out 200 ANSI lumens so it makes it a nice candidate for something like this given that I'm in moderate room lighting so the lights are not turned all the way off. I have the lights you know halfway on in this room so you're talking a couple hundred watts of lighting in a 15 by 15 room roughly this is sort of what I use for my projector reviews so you get an idea of what I'm talking about but uh, the important part here is that I'm able to project an extended desktop so I'm able to monitor picopros.com or write an article for picopros whatever it may be respond to comments that kind of thing while doing something else on my laptop. So I can be monitoring the stock market. In this case today, Texas Instruments buys out National Semiconductor, whatever the case may be. I could be watching a movie, I could be checking my email, doesn't matter. The, the point of this is that I can do multitasking. And, and extended desktop isn't new by any means, but the fact that you're able to do it with a Pico projector and you can really tailor your office environment to fit your needs on a large scale. Uh, a lot of people in their jobs have a monitor in addition to their laptop or desktop. They have multiple multiple monitors, but they're limited to a certain extent by the size of that monitor. It might be a 20-inch monitor, whatever the case. But with a Pico projector, we're talking having the capability in this case anyways, of blowing it up to 45 inches or so diagonal. So you have, you know, almost four times the projected area of what your extended desktop would be in a normal office environment. Now, imagine being able to blow that up even further if you have the real estate to do so. And certainly with the K11, uh, it definitely has the brightness to blow it up uh, a little bit bigger than what I'm showing here. but. I'll be honest with you, having a 42 or whatever diagonal image is pretty impressive, pretty nice. And you can see, you know, we can uh, zoom in maybe a little bit to give you an idea. We've done a font, font comparison, but I'll just show you, you know, here's Pico Pros. This is our newest article in Tex, launches Pico Projector uh, to the India market, yada, yada, yada. And then uh, here's a sidebar with the search bar, add, that kind of thing. But... Um, I really just wanted to take a moment to highlight that capability for a lot of the new devices. Being able to do multiple window extended desktop applications. So if uh, you guys and gals out there have any unique ways of using your Pico projector, and this isn't by any means mind-blowing, but I really wanted to show people what the capabilities are. And, and this is a really simple yet very effective way of using a Pico projector. Um, so if, if you guys have ideas or things that you've done with your Pico projector, uh, either in an office environment or be it any other method for mobile advertising or, or whatever the case may be, send it along to us. We'd love to highlight it on the site. Uh, but for now, I just wanted to send this along and uh, let you guys know what we're thinking about in the whole realm of Pico projection. And this is a very useful way to use these uh, quite mobile devices. So I'll leave it there and I'll sign off. Uh, again, this is Paul with PicoPros.com and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.